Hi YouTube and um, welcome back to my channel, The Goddess Coach, um, aka The Mummy Coach. Today I am going to share with you my tip really on how I save money on dental care. Um, of course dental care is imperative to our health. Um, and of course, you must do all the things you need to do to look after your teeth. Um, I've just come back from the dentist um, a couple of days ago. And I've got a really good clean bill of health. Um, the dentist was really impressed with how clean and healthy my gums are. So I thought, let me share with you my tips and tricks, the little things I use to look after my teeth. Now, first of all, I have to be really honest. Um... I'm not really good at seeing the dentist every six months. Uh, I tend to either forget or we're always traveling or we're moving countries or moving homes around the six months time and then it becomes a year and a year and a bit. And I have to say that the last time I saw a dentist was before I moved to London, which was more than one and a half years ago. Now, I'm very confident about my healthcare, so I kind of become a bit of a procrastinator in making appointments for the dentist. Only because um, my experience is this. When I was growing up, um, I actually came from those um, schools that had a dental clinic in the building. And every day after lunch, we had to go out and, uh, and, and queue up, line up a whole row of us and brush our teeth in front of our teachers. And then when you're done brushing, you had to crush his little red or uh, pink tablet and, and chew in your mouth. And then you can see if your teeth are absolutely clean, it'll be very, very barely pink. But if you've got a lot of uh, plaque in your mouth, you know, around your teeth, um, it will show up all the pink bits. So then you know, ah, you didn't brush your teeth very well. I was so good in doing all my brushing and my, uh, my cleaning that the, den the dentist, whom everybody was really afraid of, actually asked me if I want to volunteer to be um, the student um, calmer, you know, so when students are scared or a bit worried to go into the dental uh, dental clinic, um, she would call me down, I'd get excused from schoolwork, and I would hold the hand of the student and, and calm them down, and, um, and then also I became like the student leader to teach the other students how to brush their teeth, because she was very impressed in how I look after my teeth, so I guess I've always been into dental care. So, as a mother, of course, you know, with four kids, I want to make sure that I don't incur a lot of, um, you know, a lot of uh, dental costs. I mean, in a lot of places, um, you know, dental care is not free. I mean, we're very lucky in the UK. The NHS offers free um, dental checks and, you know, absolutely everything is free for children. But where I come from in Singapore, you know, lots of Asia, in America, dental care is expensive. It's not very cheap. So, of course, you want to make sure that you don't spend excessive amount of money, um, you know, having to fix problems. So, what do I do to make sure there are no problems to begin with? Now, first of all, you have to brush your teeth. And, of course, the, um, the, the, um, the standard rule is you have to brush your teeth twice a day. So I am actually keen on electric toothbrush. So I actually use one of these um, Oral-B um, toothbrushes um, from Braun. And this one comes with a little display clock that will tell you um, to go on the four quadrants. So it's like 15 seconds on the top right and then 15 on the bottom, 15 on the other side and, and, and so on. And it's got little smiley faces. If you brush your teeth too hard, for example, it will like... Mm, ugly face and if you go more than two minutes the smile gets bigger and bigger so they do encourage you to actually um you know look after your teeth very well second thing is um you know your your toothbrush shouldn't be um, very hard bristled. Um, I prefer soft bristle um, and um, I think I would not go more than medium bristle because I find hard bristle actually uh, doing the reverse. It actually is very bad for your gums um, because a lot of people think that dental care is purely about the teeth. It's not. It's the whole, you know, it's oral, full oral care. So it's about your teeth, about your gums, your tongue your, and your, your whole mouth, you know, the whole flora and fauna, the mouth. Um, I like about Oral-B and, and Braun is that, you know, you do get all this indication to show that, oh, when you need to change your toothbrush. In fact, I am due to change my toothbrush head. Now, um, another thing is, if you were to use manual toothbrush, uh, don't be mistaken that just because the toothbrush head is pretty large and maybe double the, the size of this one, that doesn't mean you need to put that much toothpaste along the top of it. So save your money. You only need a pea-sized 
toothpaste on top of your toothbrush. So in a way, this this um, electric toothbrush with such a small head is already kind of like an idiot's guide to saying this is how much toothpaste I need, which is just up there. Um, <clears throat> now, and um, for children, I do buy my kids um, electric toothbrush too, though my, my sons, for example, um, my, my little ones, they all have um, their own electric toothbrushes, but Yes, it's battery operated and of course you can get them like you know like this he likes his um cars if you can see it's like um you know cute little colors and my daughter uh, my little one has got like with hello kitty and it's flashing when the um when the time is up so she knows um that you know she has to keep brushing until the light goes off or until the light comes on was it like I can't remember, but anyway, it's got an indication. So, <laughs> and the same thing. Um, they are really soft bristles, and it comes with an indicator, like that blue thing. So when the time is up for you to change the brush, the blue bits will kind of become more faded. And um, again, you know, he doesn't need a lot of toothpaste. Now, I actually prefer to use um, Arm and Hammer. Uh, toothpaste because I find that you know it's got more um, natural ingredients there's no alcohol in there and it uses uh, baking soda and calcium uh, carbonate inside to you know protect your teeth and to whiten it naturally now um, another one is of course um, everybody knows you have to flush I'm sorry you have to floss 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 not flush not flush no you flush something else uh, you floss floss you floss your teeth now um for many, many years, I've always been using the floss. Now, I have to tell you that I'm not very keen on flossing because it's really fiddly. I've got a really small mouth. <laughs> it's not very big. And because of my small jaw, I actually have, um, over the years growing up, the reason why I'm really concerned about looking after my teeth is um, I've had very severely overlapping teeth because of my severely small jaw. I've got the jaw of a child and I'm an old woman. I've only got 24 teeth. I've had so many healthy um, teeth taken out in order to fit in braces. So I've always been very concerned about using um, floss. But I know with floss, like, oh, I'm a little friendly and then you kind of uh, trying to do it, then you can start dribbling all over, like, oh, not pretty. So I have stopped using a floss. But that doesn't mean I don't look after in between my teeth. Now, this is my new, for the last, oh, I don't know, year or two, has been my secret weapon in my um, dental care. It's actually these um, soft picks. They are, you can get them from brands like Jordan. I found them in some random um, cash and carry and it's like a, you know, a whole big pack and I bought them like in a bundle so they it actually comes with a travel pack so it's a little plastic case and um, I put a bit of them at a time so what I like about this thing is instead of flossing I put them in between my teeth I'm gonna be a bit little yucky I'm so sorry I'm gonna show you this it's like it's like floss. <laughs> you just put it in between your teeth and you go in and out and it flosses and it's got like, I don't know whether I can zoom in, but no, oh, okay, it's it's got tiny, tiny little bristles. It looks like a mini toothbrush for in between your teeth. And um, and as we know, in between the teeth, um, sometimes it's hard to get with a normal toothbrush. So you need to clean in between your teeth because that's where food gets stuck. And then it turns into um, plaque. And plaque is like that little white bits you see between your teeth. You know, like starch from food, like pieces of bread. It could be food um, that you've been eating, like, you know, it could be chocolate or whatever. But after a while, it just turns into this white gunk that you see between your teeth. And I tell you something, I've got a thing about, about people with plaque in between your teeth um when i was when i was single and i one of my criterias for dating a guy is he must not have plaque in between his teeth if i can see it and i'm thinking if you cannot brush your teeth i can't kiss you i'm sorry i, I just can't date you <laughs> i'm sorry i'm a little bit a bit shallow but hey um teeth teeth hygiene is a big part of hygiene so so anyway this is my floss so I, I absolutely love this, so I travel with this everywhere. I, it's so tiny that I can put them into my cosmetic case. So if I go out with friends, I eat in a restaurant or whatever. If I feel like mm, there's something a little bit stuck, maybe pieces of broccoli or something. So this comes out in, in the toilet and I just a quick little brush and then just throw them. 
if you're really, really on a budget, I mean really on a budget and you think, I don't want to buy something that has to be thrown out all the time, um, you know what, you can just hot water, wash it a little bit, maybe use it over three days, but you really need to throw it out because then the bristles get really soft and then there is no effect anymore. I, I tried it, I wanted to see how long it'll last, but about two or three days, it's not worth keeping anymore, it's just chuck it. Okay, now um, my other trick is, you know a lot of people like to use mouthwash because they think after eating, especially like maybe like Korean food, very garlicky or Asian food with a lot of chili and spices, your mouth does smell a little bit. So they think, oh, I'm going to gargle on mouthwash. I'm not really big on mouthwash only because... Um, I don't like the taste of mouthwashes and a lot of them are alcohol based. I mean, they are out there today, uh, better brands. But when I was growing up, that was what I was used to is a lot of alcoholic mouthwashes. And to be honest with you, alcoholic mouthwashes actually, if you've got bad breath to begin with, it dries the mouth so much that it actually makes the breath even more smelly. So very, very long time ago my late grandmother actually shared a trick with me and she said this this woman right this this indonesian woman doesn't go to school she doesn't know anything about oral hygiene she, she's never been taught she barely goes to the dentist growing up you know she's never seen the inside of a dentist until she was really really old towards the end of her time and yet she's got beautiful teeth um and she's got a really nice breath and i remember growing up she said to me um, don't scare friends away if you're trying to make new friends by bad breath. Always make sure that you wash your tongue. And I'm like, huh? Wash my tongue? How do I wash my tongue? Because um, if you actually look under a microscope, our tongue has got like little hooks inside. Like, you know, little, little, little tiny hooks to hook food and, you know, to, flip, to make you taste the food. Whether it's salty, sweet, sour, spicy. And that's where the food gets stuck, and then if it stays in there, you get the bad breath because the bacteria multiplies and all that. So, when I was growing up, I just tend to take my toothbrush, of course, in the olden days, I used a much bigger toothbrush head, and I would just like, you know, take my tongue out, uh, and I just kind of brush my tongue out, and I'll tell you, your breath smells 50-80% much better straight away brushing your teeth with all that nice minty uh, toothpaste and then brushing your tongue. But now that, you know, uh, we have better inventions than just having tooth a toothbrush, I actually use this, which is a tongue scraper. It's, um, it's metal and it's a little bit sharp when you when it's new and you know it's a little bit uh, older when it's um, get a little bit soft. So take your tongue out and just scrape it and I can tell you um, when I go to bed I brush my teeth and we clean everything but in the morning um, there is still a lot of gunk um, on my tongue because you know there is still some food that gets processed you know from the throat it comes back out or whatever it is the whole thing so yeah tongue scraper is your breath saver it rhymes huh um yeah so um, when I go out and I feel like oh, I've eaten something that's a little bit smelly and I don't have a tongue scraper, I actually will take like a um, toothpick from the restaurant, go into the bathroom and I'll take the toothpick and I <laughs> scrape my tongue. I mean, hey, beggars can't be choosers. So when you're outside and this is a little bit too big for me, so I can't really bring it in my cosmetic. I've got a little cosmetic pouch. Um, I just use the toothpick or a tissue paper and I can uh, clean my tongue a little bit. So even if the breath is, you know, the smell is like 50% less or even 30% less, it's better than walking around town going, hello, and you smell the garlic. Um, my last arsenal in looking after my teeth. Now, um, even even if you use a floss or this this little um, soft pick, um, you know you you've got your plug right, that little white soft bits between your teeth. Now, sometimes there are places like near the back or um, you know in between. You know, not everybody has perfect straight white. Um, you know straight teeth um if like me you've had braces before and you know over the years my teeth kind of like it they start to overlap again it starts to move or maybe you've never worn braces before and you've already got you know slightly overlapping teeth you might want to take a look at this i have been using something called it's like a the, one of the brands is called aura pick it's actually the, the thing that a dentist use is to pick your teeth 
Can you see that? Right there. Okay. Um, it's like a little claw that I use to help pick my children's um, tata. You know, when you leave plague for a couple of days, you know, maybe it is stuck there. And, you know, I leave my children to brush their teeth. I don't always supervise them, but maybe they don't brush their teeth as well as me. So I actually do an inspection. I get them to like open your mouth and say, ah, mommy's going to inspect your teeth. And I actually um, have this ready. So if I see a little buildup of tartar, this is where it looks like cement is, is become hardened in between the teeth, like, you know, near the gums, I use this little thing. Of course, you have to be really careful because it's sharp, so you can actually um, scrape your gums and, and, you know, get a bit of injury. So you have to be really careful. But um, if you use it very often after a while, you kind of know the pressure. So I use this to kind of scrape on the inside where, um, you know, tata starts to build up. Um, and this one here, it's got another special one. If you drink wine coffee lots of dark tea you know it stains your teeth i don't drink any of those but um this thing comes with a like um a, a teeth scraper it's like a very soft um same thing your dentist use so you kind of scrape with your teeth uh, scrape on your teeth um to get rid of uh the surface stains surface stains you know like i said coffee tea and wine um the, the, the thing that make them stain is because, you know, you sit through your through your mouth, right? My, you know, okay, once in a while I do drink, for example, naughty like a Coca-Cola or whatever, you know, at my, my um, cheat days. So what I do is, of course, um, I prefer to use a straw so it doesn't, you know, I don't gulp it so it doesn't go into my teeth. So when I use a straw, it goes straight near to the back of my throat so I don't have to worry about it um, sloshing around my teeth. And, of course, I then, you know... Um, go to the toilet and of course you know you you do the goggle and wash with um, water to clean up so yeah these are my tips and tricks for you to save money on dental care now um of course this doesn't guarantee that you will not incur money but um look after your teeth if you look and pay attention if you look in the mirror and be a little bit of a narcissist and like really stare at your teeth and, and like oh look at your gums and everything start to notice if if you feel like something is not right Make an appointment at the dentist. Um, because, like I said, I've, I've been a dental assistant for years growing up in my school. I kind of learned from this um, old dentist how to look after my teeth. And I, I, I'm not afraid of going to the dentist. And the same, uh, we've taken my son who's so afraid of the dentist. He's got a tiny, tiny, tiny little hole that the dentist says so tiny. But I'll, I'll fix it anyway because he's, you know, his teeth is gonna probably going to pop off very soon. So it's not really important to to you know to do a really big job on it he was so afraid and i just you know hold his hand and make it fun you know show him all the little things so you know if you have children who are quite afraid of the dentist make an appointment very early and make it fun for them and a lot of dentists today are really good with children but do find out are you good with kids do you give stickers you know our local dentists like play with my my three-year-old you know showed her what everything is she now wants to sit on his chair every time we go there so yeah um that's my tip and trick. If you got any more and you know some other product that can help me or other other uh, consumers, please share. Send me, um, you know, a comment. Uh, write me and let me know. And if you like my video, please click like and subscribe and share this video with other people. In the meantime, have a great week. Have a great day. Bye.